श्री कृष्ण appreciating text 25 text 26 text 27 and text 28 of chapter 18 conclusion the perfection of renunciation of shrimad bhagavad gita text 25 anubandham kshayam himsa manapeksha cha paurusham mohadara bhyate karma yat tat tama samuchyate that action performed in illusion in disregard of scriptural injunctions and without concern for future bondage or for violence or distress Cost to others is said to be in the mode of ignorance. One has to give account of one's actions to the state or to the agents of the supreme lord called the Yam Dutas. Irresponsible work is destructive because it destroys the regulative principles of scriptural injunction. It is often based on violence and is distressing to other living entities. Such irresponsible work is carried out in the light of one's personal experience. This is called illusion. All such illusory work is a product of the mode of ignorance. Text twenty six. Mukta sango anahamvadi dhritiyuta sahar samanvita ho siddhaya siddhaya yora nirvikara ho karta sattvika uchchate. One who performs his duty without association with the modes of material nature, without false ego, with great determination and enthusiasm, and without wavering in success or failure, is said to be a worker in the mode of goodness. A person in Krishna's consciousness is always transcendental to the material modes of nature. He has no expectations for the result of the work entrusted to him because he is above false ego and pride. Still, he is always enthusiastic till the completion of such work. He does not worry about the distress undertaken. He is always enthusiastic. He does not care for success or failure. He is equal in both distress and happiness. Such a worker is situated in the mode of goodness. Text twenty-seven. Ragi karma phala prep sura lupdo him satma ko ashu chiha. हर्ष शोकान करता राजस परिकीर्ति द वर्कर हु इज अटैच टू वर्क एंड द फ्रूट्स ऑफ वर्क डिजायरिंग टू एंजॉय दोज फ्रूट्स एंड हु इज ग्रीडी ऑलवेज एनवीएस इम्प्योर एंड मूव बाय जॉय एंड सोरो इज सेट टू बी इन द मोड ऑफ पैशियन A person is too much attached to a certain kind of work or to the result because he has too much attachment for materialism or hearth and home, wife and children. Such a person has no desire for higher elevation in life. He is simply concerned with making this world as materially comfortable as possible. He is generally very greedy and he thinks that anything attained by him is permanent and never to be lost. Such a person is envious of others and prepared to do anything wrong for sense gratification. Therefore, such a person is unclean. and he does not care whether his earning is pure or impure he is very happy if his work is successful and very much distressed when his work is not successful such is the worker in the mode of passion text 28 ayuktah prakritah stabdah shatho naisha kritiko alasah vishadi dirga sutri cha karta tamasa uchchate the worker who is always engaged in work against the injunctions of the scripture who is materialistic obstinate cheating and expert in insulting others and who is lazy always morose and procrastinating is said to be a worker in the mode of ignorance in the scriptural injunctions we find what sort of work should be performed and what sort of work should not be performed those who do not care for those injunctions engage in work not to be done and such persons are generally materialistic they work according to the modes of nature not according to the injunctions of the scripture such workers are not very gentle and generally they are always cunning and expert in insulting others they are very lazy even though they have some duty they do not do it properly and they put it aside to be done later on therefore they appear to be morose they procrastinate anything which can be done in an hour they drag on for years such workers are situated in the mode of ignorance hare krishna